All right, folks, uh, I welcome you back uh, to the show. And uh, think back to 1979 and think back to 444 days where uh, U.S. hostages were held at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran uh, by uh, a bunch of, uh, of thugs. And um, one of those thugs uh, is now looking for entry into the United States. And joining us now to talk about this uh, whole uh, really horrific uh, situation, and it, it can only be possible, in my view, uh, with Barack Obama at the helm, is Barry Rosen, former American hostage at the uh, U.S. Embassy in Tehran, where he was the press attache at the time, and current spokesman for the Borough of Manhattan Community College here in New York City. Hello, Barry. Great to talk to you again, sir. Same here, Steve. And uh, I'm glad uh, that uh, everything is, is well with you. Boy, you know, we check in every few years, uh, um, uh, anniversaries or things that, uh, that uh, are, are breaking in the news, and certainly... Uh, this is something that you have very strong feelings about. That the one of the um, hostage takers, one of the men who held you and the others hostage for uh, 444 days, is now looking to be uh, admitted here into this country um, as the um, as the uh, new UN ambassador from Iran. Yes, that's that's so. I I think it's almost incredible that there's uh, there's this attempt by the Iranian regime to uh, put this man in in this position uh, on American soil though of course you know they could argue that this is international soil it's the UN but uh, I think the administration has to um, say that they are denying a visa to Hamid Abu Talibi uh, because he was a terrorist and he is a terrorist so uh, there's no denying that and he can't receive a uh, a visa from us. But uh, I'm not I'm not so certain that that we the administration will refuse the visa. Yes, and uh, neither am I. And and what makes you believe that? Well, there are there are some sticking situations concerning um, visas for diplomats at the UN. No, and there are. And there are many, many other um, issues concerning the, the, the nuclear deal uh, or negotiations. And I think the regime um, in Tehran is possibly testing us. And, uh, and, but we should be very, very straightforward with them on this, that this should have no relationship with the negotiations, but that his the denial of a visa is because he was and is a terrorist. No, I couldn't agree with you more. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just think that this administration has bent over backwards uh, to, uh, to acquiesce to Iran. Uh, when you heard that the president had reached out to the president of Iran to uh, shake his hand and that couldn't be worked out, and then when it was revealed that uh, before we knew about it, they had been talking with Iran for months, um, and that this agreement was reached on, uh, on the, the nuclear, uh, you know, uh, weapon capabilities of Iran. Uh, you know, someone in your position who had gone through what you had gone through, what, what went through your mind? Well, it, it's, a, it's a whole new world right now, given the situation that the United States is no longer the superpower that it was. And uh, uh, we, we assume, I assume that the uh, administration is is uh, is really talking about a, another world order in a certain sense where um, there's more diplomacy than uh, any military strength. Yeah, why do you, why do you say we're not the uh, world superpower anymore? I'm I'm curious. Well, I think the the um, the uh, move to diminish the military uh, to uh, post World War pre World War II levels says something to the outside world. Um, there's no way um, that if anything happens with Putin and any move in, uh, in eastern Ukraine, whether the United States and uh, the EU could do anything about it. I don't think we have enough troops in Europe to defend Europe. 
No, I'm, I'm with you. I just was curious as to what, you were, you, what your opinion was based on. I, I, I believe that uh, it, it's by design that Barack Obama doesn't want us to be the world superpower anymore. Uh, whether or not he succeeded in taking us uh, to those depths, I, I do not know. Uh, but, Barry, you know, it, it has been quite a change, certainly since uh, including Iran in the axis of evil, uh, to basically, you know, uh, negotiating with and, and, ha and signing a treaty with the country um, that uh, to this day is killing our soldiers as we speak with IEDs in Afghanistan and was doing it in Iraq as well. Hmm. Well, there, you know, there are many reasons why the United States is attempting to um, uh, somehow um, make a deal with Iran, but it, it will never come to, to being because, of, or, because there are too many issues that are outstanding and Iran will not live up to any anything that it puts on paper. Well, does that make Barack Obama naive or what? Why why is he going the, to these lanes? Do you think? While at the same time, you know, treating our allies like Israel uh, as as uh, as not traditional allies. I I have to say that I have no idea why I'm I can't I can't read uh, into the mind of the administration really. Uh, so you think that this, uh, have you talked to anybody? Have you registered your protest with anyone in Washington? Have any of the other uh, former hostages come forward? And, and, uh, and have you talked to any of them? Is there any uh, kind of uh, last-ditch effort you might make uh, offic through official channels, through your congressman, your senator, whomever, to try to prevent this from happening? I know that Congress is well aware of our feelings. We've made a general statement. Um, but, you know, this is a very tricky situation because of the whole international situation in terms of the U.N. and its regulations. So I have no idea whether uh, he will or will not get a, a visa. I mean, I think it's, te it's a test of the administration. It's a test of, of wills in many ways. And so if he does uh, sit in the United Nations and, and, uh, and, and assumes the role of uh, U uh, U.N. ambassador from Iran, um, you will look at that day as what? Day of total embarrassment. Day that I, that, that my uh, my own country and its government turned its back on loyal American diplomats and military who carried out American foreign policy under the most extreme conditions, and then were victims to. Um, terrorists for 444 days. Um, po possibly it's no longer in the history books, but it certainly was a, a very important day in, in American history at one time. Yeah, so that your plea to Barack Obama would be don't allow it to happen if at all possible? I think it would be great if the president did, did actually make that statement. I don't think he will, but I do think that that should be made. That he will try, you mean, at least? That he and, and, uh, our, and our Department of State will make every attempt at denying him a visa. Yeah. So uh, even if it may not turn out that way, I'd like to see an expression of will. Yeah. No, I'm, I, 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 it, it, nothing would be more appropriate. And if it was made, it, hopefully it would come from the heart and it would be true. Hey, Barry. Um, great to talk to you. Great to see you're, you're doing well, and, and uh, you know uh, you're, you're a true American hero, along with the rest of those who are held. And uh, God bless you, and, and uh, thank you, and uh, have a happy uh, Passover, and, uh, and we'll speak to you soon. Great, thanks, Steve. Thank you. That's Barry Rosen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, communications uh, director for Manhattan uh, Community College here in New York City, and uh, one of the uh, he was the press attaché who was held hostage for 444 days by a bunch of terrorist thugs in Iran. Uh, and now one of the terrorist thugs is going to be uh, allowed into the country unless Barack Obama and the State Department put a stop to it uh, as the uh, in Iranian ambassador to the United Nations. And I'm sure Barack Obama will one day shake his hand and bow down to him and say, how is the great Islamic Republic of Iran? Only in America on the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax Television. We don't just talk about the news. We talk to those making news. This is the Steve Malsberg Show.